What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to a bonus episode right here of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so, here we are in, uh, Finnish February, as I like to call it, and, uh, well, as you guys already know, it is, uh, the month for me to complete, uh, events, glitches, and all that stuff for our Pokemon games that we have completed right here over the, over the years. And, uh, well, as you can see, we are back in Pokemon Yellow for one little thing that we need to do, and that is the Professor Oak glitch. Not so different from the Mew glitch, just a little added incentives and all that stuff. Now, I was going to do this beforehand, but then it got called on right here on the last episode, the last, last episode of Pokemon Yellow. Uh, I believe I got called out, as you can see right there on the screenshots. Shout out goes to Isle Rude because he basically said, you didn't complete this game. There is a completion of Pokedex and the Professor Oak battle. Well, guess what? Challenge accepted, and of course, many people would like to, uh, you know, chime in and all that stuff. So, shout out goes to I'm Smirked because he said, make a video on it. Well, here it is, buddy. A video of the Professor Oak battle. Now, like I said before, the Professor Oak battle is basically one of the many glitches that you can find in red, blue, yellow. In yellow, it's just a little bit different because of, uh... You know, the positioning of a certain Pokemon right here. Now, what you do need are a few Pokemon right here. You need a Pokemon with a special of 226. You need a Pokemon that knows either Teleport or Fly. And you do need a Pokemon that knows Growl. This all dictates what team you're going to be battling, the leveling, it's whatever. Now, the other thing, too, that you do need is you need to leave um, one or two trainers uh, active or still, you know, still active for battle right here. It's, this, again, like like I said, it's the same thing as a Mew glitch where you just have to leave two certain Pokemon trainers to open for battle. That way, the, you can activate this whole thing right here. So, and I'm talking, let me show you what I have right here. The Pokemon of 226 special happens to be my good old buddy Ultra Psycho right here. And the other Pokemon right here with Fly, of course, happens to be Godzilla. But the Pokemon with Growl is our level 50 Tornado. Now, you guys might be seeing quite a few th different things right here in this version of Pokemon Yellow. And that is because I kind of lost all the regular files to the original game. So now I had to complete this game all in one day. So if you guys see Master Balls, Rare Candies, and all that stuff, it's because I finished it in one day. And I needed to get this for this month right here. So let's get this started right here. First is first, make sure to heal your Pokemon over in Lavender Town, just to make it easy, uh, an easy walk for you. The next thing is you have to go straight right, right here to this route, and you're actually going to have to find the Scientist, or no, not, that's not the Scientist, but the Gambler or the Super Nerd next to the, uh, the underground path to Solodon City. So, that is exactly what we're going to be doing. It doesn't really matter which Pokemon or trainer is which, you just need to make sure you have uh, either, either or Pokemon trainers active for battle, and the next thing you need is a quick triggered uh, finger for the start button right here. So, again, make sure to press the start button before this guy spots you. Because if you press the button right when he spots you, you're SOL. So here we go. One, two, and three. There we go. Press that button. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be flying away straight to Vermilion City right here. And... This activate this guy to see, uh, or to see us, and now we're flying straight to Vermilion City. Now, the next step is you actually have to go to the next route next to the Diglett Cave and actually battle the Youngster. Now, sorry if I'm not naming routes by their names or by their numbers. Don't necessarily know all their numbers right here. So, we're going to be going straight to the uh, Youngster right here. Make sure to defeat this guy first. And make sure to leave this youngster active for this code to work. So let him see you. He's coming up. And he just became a trainer, but he thinks he can win, you know. That's that it's that deal right there. So what's going to happen now is we're gonna be battling our little youngster. And uh, well, you guys already know my Pokemon are OP, so we're gonna destroy this kid with just a quick attack. So let's go right ahead, quick attack. Suck on those lemons, sand true. That's right. Suck on those lemons. Now, how many times have I ever done this uh, prior to you know this video right here? Now, I've never ever actually used this whole uh, this whole uh, glitch right here because for me it wasn't really necessary. But since I got called out on it, I might as well put it up there for you guys because you know what? We want to complete this whole walkthrough, right? Pretty sure. So now, as you can see, we defeated this youngster. 
and this activates the next part of this uh, of this glitch. So what we got to do now is we have to go to a route where you can actually find a Ditto. In Pokemon Yellow, the only place you can actually find this guy is in Cinnabar Island or the Cerulean Cave. The easiest place to look for it is in the Cinnabar Island because, yeah, it's less floors and all that stuff. So now we're in Cinnabar Island. All you got to do now is go straight to the Pokemon Mansion and go straight to the floor where you can actually find Dittos. Make sure to carry yourself either Super Repels or Max Repels. That way you don't get bothered by any of these Pokemon right here. And also, make sure to have an escape rope with you. It will transport you back to the last uh, Pokemon Center that you are in. Big suggestion, let it be Lavender Town because it will actually, actually take you there. So, let's go right here. And all we have to do now is press this button. And... We gotta go all the way back down right here. And, uh, let's see. Let's see, we're gonna be going right here. And go downstairs, and here we are in the floor where the Ditto is going to be located. So, I'm gonna be pressing the speed button just to get rid of this whole uh, repel effect. So, let's see, press the button. There we go. I'm doing that. Okay, so now the repel's gone. Now we gotta find this Ditto. And, no, that is a Grimer, so it's going to take us quite a bit. Just make sure not to battle any of these Pokemon, guys. There's a Raticade. There's a Grimer. Muck. Another Muck. That's a Raticade. A Raticade again. That's a Raticade. It's going to be a while, guys, because uh, in this floor, uh, in this floor, I believe Ditto is the one that actually replaced Magmar. So it's going to be like maybe 10%. 10% a uh, fine rate or something like that. Could be wrong. So here we go. Again, again, again. Oh my god. It took me quite a few. Like, well, it took me like two times to actually find Ditto. They're making it difficult for me right here. So let's see. Come on. Where are you, Ditto? Come on, Ditto. You know you want to battle me. Come on. I don't want to take on Muck. Nor Raticade. Jeebus Criminy. Okay, let's go again. And there you go. Here is your ditto. Okay, so the next step to this whole thing is make sure to replace the, the front Pokemon with the Pokemon with the special of 226. That will enable ditto to actually copy you or copy the Pokemon and actually take on its form and especially its stats right there. So as you can see, ditto is now an Alakazam and... After that, make sure to actually switch it to a Pokemon that actually has Growl. Now, the reason why you need Growl is because it will actually dictate the uh, the amount of or the amount of Pokemon, the leveling of the Pokemon, and the starter Pokemon that Professor Oak may have. So we're going to be using Growl right here, as you can see. Yeah, Ditto's using a Reflect. So here's one. I think I have to throw in. Uh, I think I have to throw off at least six uh, six Growls to get a good uh, Pokemon team right here. And, uh, well, I did level up, oh crud, I did level up my, uh, my tornado for this occasion on top of that replace, uh, what was it, teleport over uh, reflect or something like that because <laughs> Ditto was escaping me and all that crud. So, here we have a psychic attack, and here we have another growl, so that's three, and if we could throw off one more, or maybe two more, I don't know. It'll actually give us a good team right here, but as you can see, this Ditto right here is taking on... It took on the form of my Alakazam, and it's going to be kicking our butt. So what was what's going to happen right here is that we're actually going to heal our Tornado. That way we can throw off another two Growls and actually get the full team with Professor O. And here has here comes a Psybeam. And that was a critical hit. We are confused, and here comes a Reflect that fails. Come on, use another Growl, and uh, yeah, just like that, we're... We're getting our butts kicked by a level 18 Ditto. Holy crud, okay. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, so... Just our luck. We lose to this Ditto, so what's going to happen is I'm actually going to be replacing my Pokemon right here with Godzilla and reviving our good old Pokemon. That way we can throw off those last two uh, Growl attacks. So there we go. Now, what surprises me is that you know, if a wild Pokemon defeats a stronger Pokemon, how come it doesn't gain its experience? At this point, this Pokemon right here at level 18 just defeated a level 60 or a level 50 uh, Tornado right here. He should be gaining, like, a lot of levels. 
Yeah, didn't think of that until like later on right here. And here he's, uh, Dale's throwing off another Reflect, so let's go right ahead and throw another Growl. And wow, Psybeam is uh, going to be the death of us right here. And wow, that took a huge chunk out of our HP. And we got five Growls, so we got to throw in one more Growl. That way this, uh, this, actually, this, this cheat actually goes into good effect right here. And there we go, six Growls. And now we can run away, but of course... <laughs> Ditto is faster than our Pokemon right here. Let's see what happens if we throw seven growls. I don't even know. No, nothing happens. So we threw in six growls. We can run away. So that happens. Now make sure to use the escape rope to actually get back to Lavender Town again. Make sure to heal your Pokemon at Lavender Town in order for this to actually work. So there we go. And here we are in Lavender Town. So now what can actually happen is this. All you need to do now is go back to the same route and your cheat will activate. So what's going to happen right here is Professor Oak will have five Pokemon. Five Pokemon. I already have the five Pokemon that I need. So let's go right ahead and find them. As you enter right here, the start button will actually turn on by itself. Now this is the last time that you can actually do anything with your Pokemon. So what's going to happen right here is I will not be healing my Pokemon, but... I will be switching them out because I do know what Pokemon he does start out with. So here it is guys, deactivation of our Professor Oak cheat, press the B button, and there you go, the cheat has activated. Here you have Professor Oak, he wants to fight and he has a full team of 5. So here we go, coming out with a Tauros at level 66. His team is stacked and it is strong, now, <laughs> again. All of my, all of my Pokemon don't have the same moves that they had before. Well, the same moves that they uh, that they had when they finished this game, mainly because I needed to get this cheat off. But don't worry, guys. I leveled them up to a proper level. That way, we can actually take on this guy right here. As you can see, we're throwing off another double kick right here. And Tauros, you don't normally see a Pokemon trainer with Tauros. And Professor Oak, <laughs> there he is. And well. Here he comes out with an Executor, so let's go right ahead and switch out to our good old buddy, Godzilla Godzilla. Oh yes. So look at this, Executor, level 67, and I believe he throws out the Pokemon to, uh, based, on, based off their levels. The higher they are, the last they'll go, and look at that, throwing off that Flamethrower. But here comes a Stomp Attack, and that wasn't very effective, but guess what? Another Flamethrower for the win. Suck on those lemons, Executor. Alrighty, and he's going to be coming out with Arcanine, so let's go straight to our good old buddy. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, so we forgot our good old buddy uh, Hydra, so we're going to go to the next best thing, and that is a tank right here, mainly because it's a tank. Okay, we're going to body slam this guy. We're going to try and paralyze this guy. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so it takes all of its, or almost all of its HP right there, and look at that. Finishes off Arcanine. Look at you, tank. Alrighty. So here he's going to be coming out with his Blastoise. Let's go right ahead and use Sparky. Okay, what's up? What's up? Level 69 right here. And let's get him off with a Thunderbolt attack right here. Look at this. Blastoise. Say goodbye. Yeah, buddy. Critical hit. Oh yes, right in the kisser, and he's about to come out with a Gyarados. Need I say anything else? Let's go right ahead and finish it off with Sparky. Level 70 Gyarados, let's finish this guy off with Thunder. Look at that, Sparky, kicking butt, taking names. Oh yeah, and there goes Gyarados. Look at that. Alrighty, and there it is guys, we defeated Professor Oak, and he's like, my Pokemon couldn't! That's right. So that right there makes Pikachu love us, adore us. Look at that. Whew, okay. So that was that, guys. The activation and the glitch to Professor Oak. Now, I'm just, uh, well, this is what's going to happen right here, guys. Um, I did shout out to Isle Rude and I'm Smirked. So, the next part of this whole completion is the completion of the Pokedex. Do not worry, because like I said, we will be doing Pokemon Stadium yet again. And this time, it will include 
all the Kanto Pokemon that I've used so far in all the recent walkthroughs that I've come out with, especially during this whole pandemic and all that stuff. So, yeah, you're going to be seeing Toxic Batman as a Golbat. You're going to be seeing, uh, let's see. Kind of, oh yeah, Aaliyah. I, I did bring in a, a, a female Pikachu. Not really a female Pikachu. Uh, Mew de Uno. Believe it or not, I'm going to be using Mew de Uno. All these Pokemon are going to be used in Pokemon Stadium. Now, I think that's pretty much it right there, but uh, yeah. So glad that I can show you guys the uh, Professor Oak glitch. Stay tuned. Make sure to keep an eye out for Pokemon Stadium because it's going to be brand new. It's going to be including all these Pokemon. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for my channel too for this Finish February uh, special where I am completing event Pokemon, glitch Pokemon, and all that stuff. I believe the next one will be Pokemon Crystal. Heads up, it was done about three years ago, so <laughs> if there were references to like 2018 stuff, I do apologize. It was done in 2018 or 17 or whatever or anything like that. So again, guys, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.